my friends, and welcome back to MTD CNC. As you know, we always try to educate our global audience on what's going on with technology. And today, I get to talk with my friend Toby about Zero Point. Now, we're going to start off talking about the purpose of Zero Point and how it works, then the evolution of how it can be automated, and even some new technology of what Lang is now releasing to benefit you. But first, let's start with Zero Point as a whole and the purpose of it in places around the world that may not understand the significance. So Toby, Zero Point, what's its purpose? How does it help? Simply said, it helps the machine tool running. You see a quite expensive, big machine tool. The aim should, should be to keep it running all the time. If you have some jobs on the table, to change a job on the table, it costs a lot of time. In Germany, we say no machine tool is uh, machine tool is so expensive it has to run, 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 and therefore for the change over time you have to keep it down. With zero points clamping system, the changeover is done within a few minutes. So that's the essential purpose of zero point clamping system, keeping the machine tool running. Yeah, Toby, as I'm going around and I see machine shops. How much time are they wasting by having to do complete removals of vices for a brand new setup? When we're able to have a zero point location where we can move, change, put in new parts, new jobs, switch over the program almost as quickly as we're switching over the vice at this point, that's the significance. And I bring this up because there are places and companies in this world where we're still losing so much time with that machine spindle not running because setup times arguably take the longest of any piece of a new job. Absolutely. Time is money in this case, and so investing in a zero point system pays off at the end. For yeah, sure. Yes, it does. So I, I see this a lot when upgrading a three axis machine, but we're standing in front of a much more evolved machine than a three axis machine. But for those of you out there who are trying to do more with your existing machines that sometimes might not want to invest in a brand new machine, zero point will update your machine very quickly to allow you to keep the machine spindle running. Now, let's talk about what we have on this table currently. Now the audience knows what's going on, knows that we're standing in front of this beautiful DMG machine. There is an evolution in this technology as well, right? Let's talk about this laying evolution of what we're looking at. Exactly. We call it quick point modular system. Modular system because you can line up up to five clamping pockets, almost one meter in the Y direction of the machine tool. And this complete line is actuated only with one screw. So it's a kind of convenience issue. The operator can stand in front of the machine, tightening the whole line with one actuation screw. Well, this is a fairly big machine. But even on smaller machines, I've heard the complaints mm. of, well, I have to loosen this one here. And usually mm. it's two instead of one, right? And Correct. then I have to go to the back of the piece, which sometimes can lead to injury, oftentimes not, but it's just kind of a hassle, right? We're exactly. reducing all of those movements to mm -hmm. one spot, which includes mm -hmm. everything all the way to the back of that one line. Correct, that's right. Is that up to five clamping pockets, almost one meter. So also very ideal for three axis machine tools, for instance. Yeah, of course, we're not reaching mm -hmm. to the back. I like that mm -hmm. system a lot. Now, when it comes to the number you just said of how far back I can go, this is in X or Y, and then we're unlimited mm -hmm. in the other one. Yeah. It's in Y direction, it's limited to five climbing pockets, approximately one meter. In the X direction, it's basically unlimited. You can line up as many blades as you want. Now, you and I talk about automation a lot, don't we, Toby? Mm -hmm. So if we're talking about automation, I'm obviously physically using a wrench to loosen and tighten this right now. But in mm -hmm. Lang, you do have an option for the audience to turn this into an actuator and mm -hmm. use air, pneumatic air, to do the same thing, even if we're loading and unloading with mm -hmm. our hands and we've not mm -hmm. yet invested into a cobot or a robotic system, we can use mm -hmm. pneumatic as well, right? Absolutely, yes. And the big benefit is also with a pneumatic system, you can work manually. So in daytime, you can do the tricky work manually with the machine tool. In the evening hours, you set up the pneumatic automation system and then keep the machine with lights out machining at nighttime without any stuff. We're all looking for those second and third shifts that are now robots and stuff now, exactly. aren't we? Correct. So we talked about the system, the zero point, the upgrade, the overall how zero point systems work, but there's a couple of vices I'm not quite familiar with here. Would you mind explaining what those are as well? Yep, I can do. That's, by the way, another big benefit of the zero point clamping system because it uh, remains the flexibility on the table. So for instance, we can have a single micro grip wise here for five axis parts, but we can also set up within a few minutes bigger components, what we call the micro grip ultra system for big blades, bigger components. And the changeover again is done within a few seconds. Flexibility, right? Flexibility. It's I all mean, about that. I don't know how flexible you are. I can barely touch and tie my shoes anymore, but the <laughs> flexibility of the laying system is incredible. That's for sure. Yeah. 
Well, everyone who's watching, thank you so much for sitting with me, sitting with Toby, learning a bit more about Zero Point. If you already knew about Zero Point and its significance, this is the new upgrade from Lang. You're really gonna like it, whether it's manually done, pneumatically done. This system will cover your entire act, uh, table, machine table, three axis, five axis, completely up to you. If you go with pneumatic and then later down the road, go with a cobot or a robot, you're already prepared for the automation, which is the buzzword that we're all talking about at this point. And you can give Lang a call I'll give Toby a call actually. Great guy anytime. Thank you all for watching. Toby, thank you for sharing this technology with us. Thank you.